guys, come on in. Hey, you guys, great. You guys are here right on time. I've already got breakfast laid out for you. Go ahead. Have a seat. Thanks, I appreciate it. Down and grab oh, yes, well. Of course I did. Thanks, Mr. Thomas. Hey, you guys are incredible. Um, I'm gonna pray. Oh. God, thank you so much for Steve and Mike. Thank you that they're here. God, I pray that you'd help them have the strength to clean this attic and just give us a great day. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 So, uh, you guys started to tell me about this science lab experiment. Well, yeah, don't, well, don't forget about smoking out the entire science building. Uh, well, yeah, but what, what happened next? Well, Dean Sims called us into his office, and he is in charge of the whole school and all. We thought for sure we were going to be toast. My parents would flip out if I got kicked out of school. Yeah, mine too. Well, besides that, Dean Sims chose both of us to be his office assistants. He said that we could, you know, work to pay for the damage we did. So he started laying down some chores, you know, assigning us little duties like, go run this message to so-and-so, and go do this, and go file that paperwork, go fax that, go staple those papers. Boring, boring, boring stuff. And now he has us go around campus sometimes and pick up trash, and it's just all gross, and now we're here, you I'm know. here to clean up my attic. Exactly, right, right. exactly. Right. I mean, we need the money, but here's the thing. We don't know exactly how much it's going to cost to fix the science building. Well, it, it, seriously, it sounds like he was kind of easy on you guys. What? Easy, <laughs> easy on us. I mean, it, yeah, but listen, just listen to this. I mean, you guys blew up a science lab, and he still said, hey, come be my assistants. I mean, you guys could have been kicked out of school forever. Uh, you've got a point there, but it doesn't make it less boring. <laughs> well, come on, Mike. Let's go clean the attic. Hey, right. hey, listen, before you guys go, whenever you come over, just plan on eating. I'll make sure the meals are cooked. Just come on in and have some breakfast. And you need to get this guy away from the food. Oh, that's that's sure. Sure. Come on, yeah, Seriously, <laughs> just drink it and... Hey, thanks for the breakfast, Mr. Thomas. Yeah, thanks. Steve? Mike, this way, come on. <laughs> Dean Sims was really kind to Steve and Mike. After all they did, he could have just tossed them out of school. I mean, he is the guy in charge. But instead, he chose them of all people to work in his office. I know, I know, some of the chores seem meaningless to them, but you can bet Dean Sims has a good reason for each one. I hope Steve and Mike realize what a big deal it is that Dean Sims chose them. It reminds me of God's kindness to us. Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they sinned, and after that, you know what? People just kept on sinning. They took God for granted after all he had done for them. Then along came Noah. Remember him, the guy that built the really big boat? Noah was the only person left in the whole world who remembered God. I suppose God could have written us off then, but he didn't. Instead, he started all over with Noah. Yeah, Noah was part of God's plan to fix his broken friendship with people. That's what the Bible, God's story is all about. And he didn't choose Noah or anyone else because they were perfect. God chooses people who will trust him enough to follow him. I have a feeling that Mike and Steve are about to learn that trusting God and following him is always the best way because God is good. And God always has a plan. Yeah, he's always got a plan. You do too. Mine's smaller than yours. I think this looks pretty good on me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So all kidding aside. All right. I kind of want to find out what happens to that Noah guy after he got off the boat, don't you? But don't you think we should finish cleaning the attic first? Nah. Let's open it. All right. Uh, let's see, let's try to find Noah. Oh, oh there, there he, he is. is! Okay, so we stopped at Noah in the flood, remember? Mm -hmm. So basically, Noah was the only guy on Earth who obeyed God. And God sent a huge flood all over the Earth. Okay, it says here that after Noah got off the boat, God promised to bless Noah and that he would never flood the whole Earth again. Mm. God even sent a rainbow as a sign. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, here we go. 
go again. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh look, look, there it goes. Oh. Oh. And look at yours. And look at yours. Oh, oh. oh my. Double, Double rainbow. rainbow. Oh, Two of them right here. No. They're so intense. It's so vivid. So look at the colors. Oh, oh. beautiful. Mm. Mm. Gotta love mm. the rainbow. Oh. Gotta get my lucky charm. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, look. It, it was right. God did what he said he was going to do. He did bless Noah, and he had kids and grandkids until there were multitudes of people filling the earth again. Ooh. Wow. Here, let's turn to the next okay. one. Whoa. Oh. Look at this story. Oh, yeah. The people started thinking they were big shots, as big as God. They built a huge tower. They thought they could reach heaven on their own without him. Not. Oh, hang on. Not, it's not a good idea. Oh, it's not happening a, not again. Idea. Oh, 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 brick. Oh, 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 boy. Sounds like they're under the tower. Oh, oh man, that was painful. Are you all right? Are you sure? How about you? I think I'm okay. Okay, good. Hey, what is this mess? Let's get out of the way. All right. Um, okay. It says here that God wasn't too happy with what they were doing. So God separated all their languages all over the world, and, uh, well, I guess he showed them who's really in charge. Oh. Okay, so, anyways. We're smart as God. We're smart as God. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Can you guys be quiet in there? Quiet! Sorry. Thank you very much. Okay, so, since they were rambling on, before all this happened, everyone spoke the same language? Oh, yeah, that's what it says. The tower was named the Tower of Babel. What? what? That's a funny name for a tower? Babel? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but those voices sure knew how to babble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're funny, Steve. Uh, Keep brief. Oh, let's see. This just looks like a long list of names. Because it is. <laughs> God must have thought this Abram guy was really important or something because he sure talks about him a whole lot in the Bible. Wait, I think I've heard of this guy before. Didn't God tell him to move somewhere, like California or something? Uh, no. I I'm not sure where God told him to move, but I'm positive it wasn't California. Uh, keep reading. Keep reading. Okay, I keep reading. Uh, it says here this guy Abram packed up his home, his family, and pretty much everything else just because God told him to. Wow, he sure had a lot of faith. Okay, God promised to lead him to a new place called... called... Uh, Can Canaan. Can oh, well, <laughs> I was close. California, Canaan. <laughs> so, uh, where is Canaan anyway? Oh, 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 no. Hey, oh, a look, map. a map. Hey. Let's see here. Well, there's Canaan. Well, it's definitely not in California, goofball. Like California. Well, I don't think so. Hey, take a look. Hey, Canaan is where Israel is today. Huh. Hey, God promised to give Abram the whole land of Canaan, and he chose Abram to be the beginning of his special people. Huh, let's see. And he gave Abram this big promise that he would be the father of many nations. Well, why Abram? Why did he give him all of these promises, the land? All of that. Well, I don't know, but he did have a lot of faith. You know, maybe that's why. Wow. It says here God even changed his name to Abraham. That must mean father of many nations. I guess God wanted to show Abraham he was serious about it. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. hang on. Oh. Don't, oh, oh. No. oh, it's a nameplate. Father of many nations. Huh. I would think, you know what? Hmm. I think this is a pretty big deal. I think it is, I too. would think it is. I wonder what God would change my name to. I'm not even going to answer Jesus that. World. Hey! I'm kidding. Yeah, you're right. It was kind of a big deal. Uh, kind of like it was a big deal for the dean to choose us to be his assistants. Mm, I know. That's just what I was thinking. You took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, Dean Sims shouldn't have chose us to do anything, but he did. Yeah. I guess even though we messed up, Dean Sims still thinks we're special enough to give us another chance. Do you, do you think he's right? Do you think, do you think we're special? I mean, do you think I'm special? Oh, you're all right. Let's see what's next. Mm. Let's turn that page here. Oh, no, no. Mm. 
Weird. Look, oh. God gave Abraham and his wife, Sarah, a son, but they were old. Man, I mean like really old. Oh, hang on. Here we go Oh, here we go again. Oh, a baby. A baby. Should we keep it? Uh, maybe. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's best. We, gotta clip this we need to put it back. There you go. Take it. Oh, oh, be sweet very baby. careful. Sweet mm. baby. <laughs> uh, let's see what else it says. Let's see. Uh, so their son was named Isaac. Isaac. And he grew up, got married, and had twins, Jacob and Esau. Huh. It looks like this next part pretty much just talks about all of Jake's, uh, Jacob's kids. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh one bottle. What is, what was it? Two, two bottles. Two bo three <laughs> bottles. Three bottles. Four Whoa. bottles. Oh, oh, five bottles, bottles, bottles are going six, everywhere. Six, oh, six, oh seven my. Bottles, seven bottles. What is this? Oh, 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 there's, oh, how many do we have raining so far? Bo oh, ten, oh, ten, I, eleven, eleven, oh, eleven, oh, oh, eleven oh, bottles. That was like twelve bottles that just flew out of there. I think it was. That's what. How many kids? That means twelve sons. So those twelve, Jacob was their dad, which makes Isaac their grandfather, which makes Abraham their great grandpa. Is that right? Yeah, I mean you're right. Abraham's family is growing just like God promised. Oh, oh, let's turn the page. Oh, oh. oh. Wow. who's this guy? Who's this guy? It's one of Jacob's twelve let's sons. See. It looks like his name is Joseph. 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 Wasn't he in the circus or something? Joseph was sold as a slave by his own brothers. He did not join the circus. Hang on, sold by his own brothers? That's just wrong, man. Wrong in so many ways. Well, listen, listen. His brothers were jealous. Apparently, they weren't too happy about some coat. It coat? says here, a coat of many colors. Their dad gave to Joseph. Coat of many colors. Oh, oh man. Oh! oh. Hey. Look how colorful and pretty that is. Well, hence, coat of many colors. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> put this on. This might be a little comfortable. Oh. I think this is pretty nice. Nice. Yeah. Sir, are you jealous right now? <laughs> I, I can't believe they got jealous over a coat. Seriously. <sighs> you know, pretty why? Nice. I well. think they would. All right, there's got to be more to this story. Let's find out more about it. Mm. Mm. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. This is a story about Joseph. Remember him? The guy with a colorful coat? His brothers hated him and sold him into slavery. So he ends up in Egypt working for a guy named Potiphar. And he got thrown in jail. But then he got out. Because he could interpret Pharaoh's dreams? Uh huh. Remember him? Yeah. So Joseph became the leader of all Egypt. Only Pharaoh was above him. And since you're so important now, here's a bunch of riches for you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> and here's a wife. Kiss me, cutie. Oh, no. And after the seven years of good weather, oh. came the seven years of bad weather. Not <laughs> cool. Not cool at all. Thanks to Joseph's planning, Egypt was the only place with any food at all. Even Canaan was starving. So Joseph's brothers left Canaan and headed to Egypt to get food. Man, I'm starving. I could eat a camel or a whole pyramid. Well, they didn't know the guy handing out food in Egypt was their long-lost brother. But Joseph sure recognized them. Holy guacamole! Those guys are my brothers! Man, I haven't seen them since they... tried to kill me and threw me in that pit. Man, that place was the pits. Joseph wanted to be careful because he wasn't sure if his brothers could be trusted after all those years. So, he tested them. Pretty soon, he knew it was really them. So he broke down and cried. <laughs> Man, why is that guy crying? 
Guys, it's me, Joseph, your brother. Holy guacamole. Joseph asked the whole family to come to Egypt to live with him. His brothers went back to Canaan, got their father and baby brother, and came back to live in Egypt. Oh, goody. Can we visit the pyramids? No. Oh, okay. Still, the brothers were afraid Joseph would try to get back at them for being so mean to him when they were younger. Joseph, please, please don't hurt us. Please. Uh, okay, I won't. You mean you're not mad? Well, I was, but not anymore. What you guys meant for evil, God turned around whoop, and used for good. So you're not going to get back at us? No. Oh, good. Kiss me, cutie. Not a chance. So Joseph took care of his father, his brothers, and their families. And they lived in Egypt from then on. The end. And we lived happily ever after. Yeah. For a while, anyway. The end. So let me get this straight. Joseph is sold and becomes a slave in Egypt. He winds up in prison even though he didn't do anything wrong. Then the ruler of Egypt chooses Joseph to be second in charge over the whole land of Egypt. Unbelievable! I know! The part that got me was when God told Joseph there wasn't going to be enough food for the land of Egypt or anywhere else for that matter. After all of the hard things Joseph went through, when God showed him a plan that would save everybody? Man, that was just sweet. Joseph got to leave with all of his whole family. Even his brothers that sold him into slavery. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't have done that. I would have let them starve. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know. Then Joseph's whole family ends up leaving Canaan and mm -hmm. moving to Egypt to live with them. I love happy endings, man. <laughs> Egypt. Happy endings. Mike, that's not exactly a perfect ending. What do you mean? Well, Joseph is part of Abraham's family. Remember oh, Abraham? Oh, yeah. Remember Abraham? Okay. And Joseph's great grandpa, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And God promised the whole land of Canaan would belong to Abraham, oh. not Egypt. Oh. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, see, there's Canaan right, right. there. And last time I checked, Egypt isn't in Canaan. Sure enough, they're way off course now. So how's God's promise going to come true if Abraham's great grandkids are off in Egypt? Oh, they're so far from home. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Uh. Oh, no! Oh, it it was just getting good! Yes, it was! Uh. I mean, how are we supposed to find out what happens next? I mean, how do they get back to Canaan? I mean, they're in Egypt, then what? We're just not going to be able to find out. No. We've got to start cleaning this place. Oh, yeah. this place is a disaster. I know, it's more messier than we when we got up here. Oh, well, I guess let's get to work. All right. <laughs> I think our job here is done. Have you ever been chosen for something big? I mean huge, like giant, maybe like a soccer team or a band or even to be part of a family. Out of all the people on the earth, God chose a man named Abram to begin a new chapter in his story. You see, God chose a certain group of people to focus on first, to begin a family. Then God promised to bring blessing to the whole world through Abram's family. In Genesis 12:3. God gave Abram this promise. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. This promise included all kinds of blessings and protection for God's people. God even changed Abram's name to Abraham to match the big promise he'd made. His new name meant father of many nations. And even though he was old, God gave Abraham a son named Isaac. Isaac had twins, and those twins had lots and lots and lots of kids. Jacob had 12 sons, and they all lived in the land of Canaan. Everything was going pretty good. God's promises seemed to be coming true. And then there was Joseph. Remember him? His brother sold him into slavery. He went from a zero in a prison cell to a hero in charge of all of Egypt. And because there was no food back at home, Joseph's dad and brothers packed up and moved to Egypt too. 
and it was good for them. But God's promise to Abraham, well, it had started to slow down. Remember, God promised Abraham's family the land of Canaan, not Egypt. So things have gotten a little off track. But here's the great thing about God. He always has a plan. First, God chose Abraham, kind of like Mike and Steve were chosen by Dean Sims to be his assistants. Then, God made a promise to bless the whole world through Abraham and his family. And trust me, God always, always keeps his promises. And get this, God chose you, and he wants to bless the whole world through you too. The same promises that God gave to Abraham, he gives to you and me. Through Jesus, we can be a part of God's promises to Abraham. I always think of it this way. God started a special family and promised to bless the world through me. pretty cool that Dean Sims chose us to be his office assistants. I wish we could have appreciated it before. Me too. <laughs> How much do you think we earned so far? Uh, probably a little more, but we're nowhere near being done, that's for sure. Yeah. Hey, how about this? Let's call it a day. Head home. Oh, sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, my back. Hey, let me help you up. Come on, Mike. Oh.